Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope everyone is doing well. We are now on quarter four, week four. For today's lesson, we will be discussing pictographs, simple graphs, and tables. Tables and graphs are visual representations of data. They are used to show the relationship of information. They are used to compare two or more values in an organized way. In this lesson, you are expected to interpret pictographs, simple graphs, and tables. Let us read the story. What Grade 3 Pupils Like to Eat by Maria Criselda G. Okang I have always wondered what kinds of food kids like me buy from the school canteen during recess. So, as a project for our math class, I did a mini survey. For five days, I recorded what Grade 3 Pupils bought the canteen. This table shows the results. to the table presented. The first column shows the different food from the school canteen. The second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth column shows the number of pupils who buy food every day. While the last column shows the total number of pupils who buy food. Let us interpret the data based on the given questions. Number 1. What is the title of the table? What grade 3 pupils like to eat is the title of the table. And it is located at the upper part of the table. Number 2. Which kind of food do the students like the most? Biscuits is the food liked the most by the students. Number 3. How many students like the bread as their snacks? Very good! There are 37 students or pupils like the bread as their snacks. Number 4. Which food rarely buy of the students? Correct! It is the chocolate bars What we interpret a while ago is an example of table. So when we say tables, it is a set of numbers arranged in columns or rows. It is used in organizing numbers. The kid from the story made also a bar graph about their sold shows on the table. From this graph, tells that the grade 3 pupils often eat biscuits for their snacks. Other snacks that they usually eat are banana cubes and bread. They seldom eat macaroni soup and they rarely buy chocolate bar. Let us use another example to interpret a bar graph. Mr. Avila, PE teacher of Maharlika Integrated School, conducted a survey on the favorite sports of grade 3 students. He asked to choose only one among the given sports, basketball, running, volleyball, badminton, and tennis. Let us study the data given through a bar graph. This is an example of a bar graph. The data given on the x-axis are kinds of sports, while on the y-axis are the number of students. Let us interpret the bar graph using the following questions. 1. What is the title of the graph? Very good! The title of the bar graph is The Favorite Sports of Grade 3 Students. Number 2. Which is the most favorite sport of grade 3 students? Right, it is the basketball. Number 3. 
which is the least favorite sport of grade 3 students? Right, it is the tennis because only 13 students like the sports tennis. Number 4, how many students loves running as their sport? Right, there are 19 students loves running as their sport. Number 5, how many students were asked in the survey? Right, there are 102 students were asked in the survey. For you to get the total number of students, you just need to add 30 plus 19 plus 25 plus 15 and plus 13. Graphs and tables have a title that tells what the graph or the table is about. It has label showing the contained data. The graph presented a while ago is a bar graph. A bar graph is a graph that presents categorical data with rectangular bars with heights or length proportional to the values that they represent. This can be plotted vertically or horizontally. Another kind of graph is pictograph. So what is a pictograph? A pictograph is a representation of data using images or symbols. It helps in laying the foundation for data interpretation based on pictorial information. In pictograph, we use key which denotes the value of the symbol. Let us study this pictograph. A survey was conducted for 100 students by a fast food junction to understand the demand for different flavors of ice cream available in their outlet. Can you identify the most loved flavor by observing the table? And this pictograph shows the flavor available and the number of students who loves ice cream. This pictograph used a smiley as a symbol which means 10 students. Now, let us interpret the pictograph using the data. What is the pictograph about? In this kind of question, you must answer the title of the pictograph. So the pictograph is about students' favorite ice cream flavor. Number two, what is meant by the given legend? Right, the given legend denotes 10 students. Number three, what is their most favorite flavor? How many like this? You are right. Based from the pictograph, the most favorite flavor of the students is cookies and cream. 35 students like this as their favorite. Number 4, how many students loves Boko Pandan flavor? Very good, there are 10 students love Boko Pandan as their favorite flavor. Number 5, what flavor of ice cream loves by 15 students? Very good. It's vanilla and strawberry flavor. Kids, to interpret graphs, tables, and pictograph, you must read the title, look at the key, read the labels, then study the graph to understand what it shows. Reading the title of the graph or tables will tell you what information is being displayed. It's time for you to work on your activity. Read and study the pictograph. Interpret its data through answering the following questions. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. What is the pictograph about? Number 2. Who is the second best runner? How far can he run? Number 3. What is meant by the given legend? Number 4. Who ran in same distance? Number 5. Who is the best runner among the athletes? Use the following answer to check your work. For your last activity, read and study the table below, then answer the questions. Number 1. How many pupils are there? Number 2. What are the
the different TV shows in the table? Number three, how many pupils like to watch news? Number four, what TV shows has the greatest number of pupils? Number five, what TV shows has the same number of pupils? Check your work using the following answers. Very good kids! All of you did a great job! Again, this is Teacher Margie saying, Strive for progress, not perfection. Thank you for watching. Till next time, bye!